Holy crap, guys, it is a super spooky Halloweeny night on the lake in Brobridge, Louisiana. I'm camping in my RV on the edge of the bayou. It's not really the bayou, but it is a good, no, a perfect night for a spooky Saturday night snack in a movie. What in the world is with all these bugs? There's the RV back there. I am camping on the edge of an awesome lake tonight. It is a super spooky night. I can't believe these clouds out here. It's tough to see if I'm zoomed out, so let me zoom in a little bit. Look at this. Look at the clouds right above the RV. It is a perfect night for an awesome spooky Saturday night snack and a movie. Let's go on in for a minute. Tonight, we are gonna be watching one of the most awesome Halloween-y movies ever, and making one of the most awesome snacks ever, and carving one of the most awesome pumpkins ever. All right, guys, so we've got a whole bunch of ingredients here for our awesome spooky snack. We've got some roasting pans, because I don't have any pans that fit in my small oven here. All-purpose flour, powdered sugar, sliced almonds, red decorating icing, almond extract, baking powder, real butter, vanilla extract, and some awesome, awesome Halloween sprinkles in tubes. Look at these things. We've got four tubes. One of them has black witch hats, ghosts, pumpkins, and cauldron bubbles. <laughs> We're actually gonna use a recipe for these things called Frightening Fingers. I've had this recipe for a long time. In fact, let's see what the date is on this. This came out of the repository in 2004, but these are so good. They're actually cookies that are shaped like fingers. I'll put this recipe in the description below, but these are so cool. These are the ingredients right here. And people will actually put green food coloring in to make the fingers green like witch's fingers. Tonight we're going to do it a little different. We're going to make these dead man's toes instead of fingers. Because the movie we're going to watch tonight is Hocus Pocus. Okay, so the first thing it says is in a mixing bowl, cream the butter and sugar. So we need one cup of confectioner's sugar. And I know guys, this is in no way, shape, or form a low carb recipe but I had to make them. They're frightening fingers. They're dead man's toes. You can't finish the potion without dead man's toes. Okay, there's a cup of sugar, confectioner's sugar, powdered sugar, and we need a cup of softened butter. This has been sitting out for a little while. That's not really soft enough. I might have to microwave it for a minute, but this is uh, two sticks equal one cup. So this can go in the fridge. And we're just going to open up the butter sticks, put them right in here, and then stick it in the microwave for, I don't know, 30 seconds. Let them get soft. Partially melted, but that'll work. Pour that right in there. And we're going to use this right here. And we got to cream this together. So that basically just means that we got to mix it up and crunch it together till it's creamy. Okay, this is how that looks. Okay, next it says beat in the egg and the extract. So we need one egg, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, and one teaspoon of almond extract. Okay guys, so what we have to do now is cover this and refrigerate it for about a half an hour. Let it get cold enough where it'll be easier to work with and form the little fingers or toes that we're making. Since we are doing this in the RV, I am using the uh, the RV oven 
for the very first time. So I just had to light the pilot light and it took me about 20 minutes to get it going. <laughs> Let me show you this little thing in here. It's that tiny little blue light right underneath there. That's a little flame. I had to go outside and uh, turn on the propane. Looks like I need to scrub that down a little bit, but I had to stick my hand back in there and hold a flame on that for a little while till it finally got all the air out and would light. So now I'm supposed to turn this up to 350. So let's see if that... That should grow in there a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Cool, all right. See, there's not too many firsts left for this RV. I've been using everything in here. And uh, that's a first right there, the oven. We'll close that up for now, let that warm up. Okay, guys, so this stuff has been in here for a little while. Yeah, I think we can work with that. Now the trick is to form this stuff into little toe shapes. <laughs> Not little toe, big toes, because it's dead man's toes. So basically, we're going to take a little chunk here and ball it up. I don't know how well this is going to work. <laughs> but we're going to try it. I have some parchment paper that I put in here. That's about the size of a toe, I guess. I don't know. Give it a little squeeze on the side there. Then we'll just make a bunch of these, stick them in there, and then they go in the oven. Okay guys, there we go. These are going in the oven. Those are our dead man's toes. We're gonna put these oven in the oven. I think it said 25 minutes, but that was based on if you made them long fingers. So this might take a little bit longer. Yeah, we still got heat coming out of there. Put these in there for a little bit and see what happens. All right guys, while we're waiting for those to cook, I used the rest of the stuff and I made up some witch's fingers. Those are going to go in next. But meanwhile, while those are cooking, we're going to carve a pumpkin. Hocus Pocus! There he is, the spookiest Halloween pumpkin ever. Ha 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 ha! Oh my gosh, I'm such an idiot. All right, let's get to carving here. If you guys have carved your own pumpkins or whenever you do, make sure you go over to the Facebook page that Nate Guys and Gals, I'll put a link below in the description, and post pictures of your jack-o'-lanterns. I want to see the most Halloween-y jack-o'-lanterns ever. Carve them up, light them up, and share them on a Facebook group. You gotta love carving pumpkins, man. Halloween is the most awesome ever. Cut around here a little bit, make it a little more open. Easier to access all the gobbledygook. All right, that looks good. Then we'll dig out the guts.
there they are, guys. Dead man's toes. And some of these toenails look pretty funky. <laughs> All right, guys, there you go. We got our Halloween jack-o'-lantern. Hocus pocus. Our test tubes of, I don't know, whatever there. <laughs> Ghosts, pumpkins, black hats, I think it is. And this was supposed to be like cal cauldron bubbles or something like that. And then we've got our dead man's toes and our frightening fingers. Look at those. They're pretty tasty. And as you see, we just took a little bit of this decorative icing, the red, squeezed it onto the toe area. And then we used sliced almonds for the fingernails and toenails. And we also made those little divots in there to make it look like knuckles. So there you go, guys. I am going to have some frightening fingers and dead man's toes and watch Hocus Pocus, and I will see you guys next week.